assalamu alaikum good morning everyone we have started a series of short talks about case studies today i am going to discuss about york sac york sac is a rounded structure seen in early pregnancy when it's normal its size is from 2 to 6 mm in some of the literature it is 1.9 to 5.6 mm it functions as an absorptive epithelium for nutrient uptake and secretion as well as the origin of the first blood cells in human and non human primates the allantois is a small diverticulum which is part of the umbilical cord connects to the bladder and acts as temporary store for fetal excretions if we look at this diagram we can see this is the yolk sac and we have got the yolk nutrients inside this is allantois then we have the albumin here is chorionic membrane the amnion with amniotic fluid here is the chorionic fluid then is the embryo and outside is the shell so after looking at it it comes to our mind that what is the appearance of it and how it works we need to know that it it is surrounding the embryo and it looks like a small white circle the yolk sac nourishes the embryo and also helps produce blood cells the yolk sac is surrounded by a large area known as gestational sac this one which is shell like structure here is the allantois amnion and yolk sac it is the extra embryonic membrane to appear the chorion also develops from yolk sac and functions to nourish the developing embryo it also produces chorionic fluid which is essential for cushioning and protecting the embryo whereas the allantois is a sac like structure which is extra embryonic membrane here it is extra embryonic that removes waste from the embryo the lentois exchanges oxygen in carbon dioxide with the air outside the egg shell and serves as disposal site of uric acid the yolk sac is the extra embryonic membrane that surrounds the egg yolk Here it is a yolk sac. This is the yolk sac, the feed, the embryonic heart and the amnion. Then another question arises that can there be a yolk sac and no baby? The answer is that it contains a yolk sac protruding from its lower part, but no embryo. Even after scanning across all planes of the gestational sac. thus being diagnostic of an an embryonic gestation a blighted ovum is a pregnancy in which the embryo never develops or develops and is reabsorbed here is our interesting case we can see how by tvs the yolk sac the ps this is a gestational sac and 
we can see a small rounded area which is inside here it is not properly visible and this look to be larger this was a case of a female 34 years old gestational age of eight weeks patient had vaginal bleeding and here you can see the gestational sac is having no yolk sac so absence of yolk sac any yolk sac which is smaller or too large is a problem in some of the studies having a yolk sac that is too large or too small has been associated with pregnancy loss however abnormal sac size occurs in approximately 17 percent of pregnancies but keep in mind in many cases women go on to have normal pregnancies even if the yolk sac is slightly smaller or is slightly larger this was all about the yolk sac thank you very much